Hey what's up everyone welcome back to another interesting video on my channel and today I'll be reviewing the most awaited MIUI based room the wave you are using. So sorry for being late guys I was just playing some games for a quite few days so yeah I'll be talking about everything starting from the software to its cons and why it's one of the best gaming rooms out there for Poco X4 Pro so make sure to watch the video till the end and before we get started, let me tell you that only 8% of the people watching my videos are actually subscribed to my channel. So please subscribe my channel if you like my content. Now let's get the video started. So firstly as usual starting with the boot animation so you get the same boot animation and I really like it. I mean it gives some kind of chilling vibes. So yeah that's really amazing. Now talking about the software, so firstly when you look at the about device interface, it looks crazy. I mean I really like the interface and now talking about the technical details, so it comes on Android 13 and it's based on the latest security patch of 5th September 2023 and for the kernel, it comes on the stock kernel, so yeah, that's nice. And by the way, the shout out for this room goes to the Wave UI team and especially MK and Aftab. So thanks for the amazing works guys, appreciate your work. Moving on to the home screen, you get the advanced MIUI launcher with a lot of features and customizations. So firstly, starting with the wallpapers, when you move on to the wallpaper section, you get a tab called must have wallpapers. So when you open it, as you can see, you get a lot of wallpapers pre-included and I really love them. Moving back, you also get the super wallpapers tab. And by the way, many of you guys told me that in the last update, the super wallpapers weren't working. So for your kind information, you need to download the super wallpaper package and you will get it in my telegram group so don't worry about that. In fact you can also put your wallpapers from the gallery and even you get a lot of wallpapers in the MIUI theme store. Now talking about the widgets so when you move into the widget section as you can see when you click on the discover tab you get a lot of exclusive MIUI 14 widgets. I mean thousands of widgets for your home screen like I put the clock widget which looks really amazing and if you notice these widgets are animated and you can also customize them according to your choice so yeah that's really nice. And by the way moving back into the widget section when you click on this option and click on the android widgets you can set the local app widgets so yeah that's really nice. Now while we are talking about the widgets you also get this updated app vault where you can put your widgets and easily access them by swiping the home screen on the left side. I mean just look at it that's really cool. So yeah that's all for the widgets now let's talk about the launcher customization. Now moving on to the launcher settings so firstly you get various app transition animations which is really cool and moving back you can also enable or disable the app text and widget text but when you click on the more option things starts to change from here. So when you click on it I mean you get a lot of features. So firstly you can customize your animation according to your choice like right now I've set it on relaxed and you can change it to balance or fast so yeah that's really nice. Moving down you also get features like double tap to lock and even you can change the lock animation styles according to your choice. Even you can also change the app grid size and you get features like rounded widgets but apart from this you can also customize your google search bar style I mean you just need to select your desired style and restart the launcher from here so yeah that's really nice. In fact you can also keep your app titles in one line and when you click on the icon size option you can change the icon size and even you get various themes for your app icons so yeah that's really amazing. Moving down when you click on the arrange items in recents option as you can see you can customize the recent tab like right now I've set it on iOS which looks amazing and even you can customize the clear button so yeah that's really amazing. So that's all for the features of the launcher and now let's talk about the pre-installed app. Talking about the pre-installed apps, so firstly as this is a gapps build so you get the google play store pre-installed and even you get the miui dialer and message by which you can record calls without any announcements so yeah good for you. Apart from this you also get some exclusive miui apps like the leica camera which takes amazing pictures and you also get option to record videos on 1080p 60fps but it still jitters while recording so yeah that's still an issue I'm used to that. 
Apart from this, you get the advanced gallery app. So when you open it up, as you can see, you get a lot of editing features for your videos. I mean, you can adjust the colors, add captions, trim them, enhance them, and even you can add soundtrack to your videos. So I really like the gallery app because I mean, you can edit your videos on the go at anywhere. Moving back, you also get the advanced screen recorder, which can record videos on 100 Mbps and 144 Mbps. Impossible. Apart from this, you also get the modded security app. So when you open it, seems quite same, but when you open the settings, as you can see, you get a lot of features. So shout out to Gronos Mods for this amazing features. So firstly, you get some cleaner features. And now moving back, you also get some features for speed boost which is really cool and moreover you also get some battery optimization features. So yeah that's all for the pre-installed apps and now let's talk about the features and customizations. Now talking about the features and customizations so when you open the settings you get a tab called wave UI lab. So when you open it I mean just look at it. You get a lot of features for your system so firstly as you can see you can change the MIUI theme server and I like to keep it on mixed because of more variety of wallpapers and features. In fact you can also set your Wi-Fi region according to your choice and even you get features like front camera effects and moving back you also get features like extra dim which you can directly access from your QS panel. And moving into the MIUI lab you also get features like app flash cards and you also get some quick reply features and you can even change the display size from this option. So yeah, that's for the Wave UI lab features, but it's not finished here. <laughs> Moving back into the settings, when you open the wallpaper and personalization tab, you get features for AOD, phones, notification and much more. In fact, you can also customize the lock screen clock according to your choice, so yeah, that's really great. Now moving into the display settings, you also get features like anti-flicker mode that prevents excessive flickering of the display and apart from this, you also get features like AI image engine that enhances the image quality while you are watching any content. So yeah, that's really nice. Now moving into the notification and control center, you can change the control center style as you can see right, right now I've set it on default. And while we are talking about the control center, you get this new iOS style control center that looks really nice. I mean, you can directly control the music playback from here and even you can customize it according to your choice. So yeah, that's really cool. Now moving into the additional settings, you get some more features. So firstly, you get some front camera assistant features with some face features. And moving back, you also get some conference tools, memory extension features and also the video toolbox which I personally use while running two apps at the same time. Now moving back in the settings, you also get features to display the screen time. So yeah, that's all for the features and customizations. And now let's talk about the gaming and performance. So talking about the performance, so I ran Antutu and got a score of about 453k which is really amazing. And even when I ran CPU throttle test, no throttling was detected and even the JIP score came around 226k and I ran the test under 100 threads so yeah, that's for the performance and now let's talk about the most awaited section. So talking about the gaming performance, it's wonderful. As usual, I played 4 matches, 3 TDM match and 1 Livic match back to back without any break and let me tell you that I had a crazy experience. So let me tell you that you get 90 FPS unlocked in BGMI for smooth graphics and for the other graphic styles, they are as usual the same. So I performed this test under extreme FPS settings and let me tell you that for the first TDM match, I got an average of 59 FPS without any frame drop and for the second match it was same too. Even for the third match I got an average of 59 fps so yeah the gaming session for the TDM matches were insane and even for the classic Livic match the frames were maintained consistently between 55 to 57 fps so yeah the gaming performance is just lit. Now if I talk about the battery backup so it's good. On single charge I got a battery backup for about 7 hours under extreme heavy usage 
and let me tell you that for the last few days I was also playing Minecraft on 90 FPS for average of 3 hours and considering that I got an amazing battery backup so yeah it's good. By the way there is something special to tell you guys at the end of the video so wait for it. And for 5G yeah 5G works fine without any problem as you can see so yeah that's for the 5G. Now if I talk about my conclusions so I will just describe this room in one word. Wow. I mean it is the best MIUI ROM out for POCO X4 Pro and it handles everything really well for every situation especially for gaming but if I talk about the cons so there are none except for the charging. I mean the phone heats slightly more than usual but it's considerable as the phone charges fully in about 40 minutes. So yeah. That's all for the room and now if I talk about my opinion so if you are looking for a gaming room with amazing features and it's based on MIUI then you should definitely try this and for the flashing procedure I have already made a video on it make sure to check it out link in the description. And by the way this room comes pre-rooted so if you don't know how to remove the root so I have shown it on the wave UI speed edition review video link in the description. And for more query join my telegram group. And now for the main surprise, so this room will be released today in two variants, the performance one and the balanced one. So if you want insane performance and beast gaming experience, you can consider the performance variant but if you want extreme battery backup, you should definitely check out the balanced variant. And by the way, I'm using the performance variant. But there's something sad here. I mean this is gonna be the last wave UI update because of some bastard, sorry for the language guys. But the developer of this room has to buy some files for the premium interface and the features for including in the room. And that's why he has to sell the room paid so as to earn his money back and after he gets the money he spent in building the room the developer makes it free. But from the last two updates some guys leaked this room before the developer could even earn his money back. And that's why he loses a big amount of money and especially the hard work he spent in his room. That's why the developer had to take this decision primarily because of the leak accident and the toxicity in the community which is really sad. So that's all for today guys and if you like this video make sure to like it, share it with your friends and most importantly sub to our channel. So goodbye and take care.